This is the fourth video of the BizTalk Server 2010 tutorial. In the last two videos, we created a BizTalk project with two schemas and a map, and another BizTalk project with an orchestration. In this presentation, we're going to deploy, configure, and test the solution. This video contains the following procedures. Deploy the projects, configure and start the application, test the solution. Deploy the projects. There are several methods for deploying BizTalk projects. In this presentation, we use the Visual Studio deployment method. When you deploy a project or solution in Visual Studio, the assemblies are automatically built and deployed into the specified application. As part of this process, the assembly, along with the orchestrations, schemas, and maps that the assembly contains, which are called artifacts, are imported into the local BizTalk management database and associated in the database with the specified application. To deploy the application by using Visual Studio, you need to log on to Windows as a member of the BizTalk Server Administrators Group and then run Visual Studio as administrator. Otherwise, you're going to get an access is denied error. So I've logged on to Windows as BTS Admin. BTS Admin is a member of the BizTalk Server Administrators Group. Then I'm going to run Visual Studio as administrator. open EAI solution. We're going to deploy the EAI schemas project first because the EAI orchestration project depends on this project. The deployment process requires that the assembly be strongly signed. We need to specify a strong name key file. The tutorial files package provides a strong name key file. If you want to create your own, you can run the SN command from the Visual Studio command prompt. Specify the strong name key file. Name the application EAI Solution. A BizTalk application is a feature of BizTalk Server that makes it quicker and easier to deploy, manage, and troubleshoot BizTalk Server business solutions. A BizTalk application is a logical grouping of artifacts used in a BizTalk server business solution. So we can specify an application name for a project. The deployment process will automatically create a new application that has a specified name if it doesn't exist. Now we can deploy the project. Make sure to check the output window to verify that the deployment is successful. Next we're going to deploy the EAI orchestration project. Specify the strong name key file. Specify the application name called EAI Solution and then deploy the project. After deploying the projects, we can use the BizTalk Server Administration Console to see the application and the artifacts. Run the BizTalk Server Administration Console. Browse to BizTalk Applications. The EAI Solution application was created when we deployed the two projects. The Resources folder lists two assemblies that we deployed. There should be one orchestration, three schemas including the property schema created automatically by Visual Studio when we promote the grand total field, and one map. Let's take a look at the EDI process orchestration property. Under bindings, it lists the three logical ports. We need to create three physical ports and then bind the physical ports to the logical ports. Configure and start the application. BizTalk Server Administration Console is the tool for managing BizTalk Server applications. The EAI process orchestration that we created in the last video has three logical ports. We need to create three physical ports and bind the physical ports to the logical ports. Okay, so let's create the receive port. 
This is a one-way receive port. Name it EAI solution receive request port. Receive port is a container for receive locations. In this scenario, we only need one receive location. Name the receive location EAI solution receive request location. This receive location uses the file adapter. The file adapter has some properties. We need to specify a folder for the file adapter so it knows where to pull messages. This is the folder where the warehouse system drops the request messages. The folder is C, BTS Tutorials, Warehouse, Request. This folder is created when you install the tutorial files. The file mask is XML files. You can set the retry count and retry interval. By default, it's five retries with a five minute interval. The receive handler is BizTalk server application. BizTalk server application is a default host that the BizTalk server installer creates. A host is a logical container. You assign BizTalk artifacts to a host, such as what we just did when we assign the receive location to the host. A host has host instances. Each host instance is a BizTalk server runtime process on BizTalk server. We also need to specify a receive pipeline for the receive location. A receive pipeline is for pre-processing messages, things like decoding, decryption, translation, validation, and party resolution. The request message from the warehouse system is already in XML format, so we specify the default XML receive pipeline for the receive location. The XML receive pipeline validates whether the inbound messages are well-formed XML files. Save the receive port and receive location. We also need two send ports. The first send port is to send the request decline message to the warehouse system. Create a new static one-way send port. Name it EAI Solution Send Decline Port. It uses the file adapter. The folder for the file adapter to drop messages is C, BTS Tutorials, Warehouse, Request Decline. The file name is Request Decline, underscore, Message ID, with the XML file extension. The message ID is a macro. You can find a list of available macros from the BizTalk help file. The send handler is BizTalk server application, and the send pipeline is XML transmit. Save the send port. The second send port is to forward the request message to the ERP system. Create a new static one-way send port. Name it EAI solution send to ERP port. The send port uses the file adapter. The folder is C BTS Tutorials ERP Request. Specify the file name, the send handler, and the send pipeline, and then save the send port. The next step is binding. Open the properties window for the EAI process orchestration, specify the host, and then bind the ports. Start the application. Testing the solution. To test the solution, we just need to drop some messages to the folder where the receive location pulls messages. The tutorial files provide two test messages. They're in the C drive, BTS Tutorials, Warehouse folder. One of the messages has the grand total of 2000 $869.80. This message will be sent to the ERP system. Make a copy of the message. Drop the copy to the request folder. Wait for the file to disappear. Check the request folder under the ERP folder. The message has been forwarded to the ERP system.
The other test message has a grand total of $28,798. It doesn't meet the approval criteria and it's going to be rejected. Make a copy of the message. Drop the copy to the request folder. Wait for the file to disappear. Check the request decline folder in the warehouse folder. The decline message has been dropped to the folder. The decline message is created by mapping from the request message. Request ID and the grand total are copied from the request message. If the request messages are not picked up by the file adapter, you need to make sure the receive location status is enabled. If it's enabled, check the application event log. The error messages are usually very descriptive. If the request messages are picked up, but the process messages are not dropped to the destination folders, you need to make sure the orchestration status and the send port status are started. If they're started, then check the application event log. This concludes the fourth and last video of the BizTalk Server 2010 tutorial. Thank you for watching.